As you are probably aware, there are significant changes in the new GroupWise web client. One of the major changes in the new architecture is the move to a container model. If you have never worked in a containerized environment before, there are a couple of key concepts to be aware of. So I'll start with the container basics. Containerization is just the next step in the evolution of the server room. Years ago, every server was a standalone physical box. As hardware improved, we gained the ability to virtualize servers. Now we run several servers on one physical host box. The advantages are a smaller hardware footprint that generates less heat and has fewer parts that need replacing as they wear out. You can also move a virtual machine to another host to minimize downtime if the hardware fails. Containers take that idea one step further. Instead of an entire server being virtualized, just the application is virtualized. A container program already contains everything it needs to run. It is not dependent on the host operating system, but rather contains its own. Virtualized servers reduce hardware overhead, and containers reduce OS overhead. Just as one physical box can host multiple virtual servers, a virtual server can host multiple container instances. So let me show you what this looks like in real life. Here is my SLES 12 server, and I'm going to walk through the entire process of setting up the Docker environment and running a Docker program. Docker is the containerization platform that we are using for the new GroupWise web client. If you're interested, please have a look at docker.com and see the excellent information they have available there. The first thing to do is to make sure you've installed the containers module on the server. You can check this in YAST under Software, then Add System Extensions and Modules. This container module needs to be installed. If it isn't, then install it now. Next, you want to install Docker. In a terminal, run the following command, zipper install docker. Now I'm logged in as root, so I don't need the sudo qualifier at the front of the command. You, on the other hand, may need it if you're not logged in as root. And as you can see, I already have docker installed. Next, I need to enable docker so that it will start automatically when the server is rebooted. I do that with the systemctl enable docker command. And then next, I'll manually start Docker with this command, systemctl start docker. And that should be everything needed to prep the server to run Docker containers. We can easily test our work by running this command to confirm the configuration. And that's docker run hello world. What happens here is my local Docker environment reaches out to the Docker Hub repository server and pulls down the image called hello world and runs it. The Hello World program is simple. All it does is pull down this text information that lets us know Docker is working. Congratulations, now we are ready to run the new GroupWise web client.